This is a picture of the world we want to see. Clean oceans, free of plastic pollution where wildlife can thrive, where people can build sustainable livelihoods and maybe have a little fun too. Clean Hub was founded to stop non-recyclable plastic from getting into our oceans. But this isn't about the emotional response we all have to seeing plastic bags on our beaches. This is about the hard facts that articulate the big, gnarly, systemic problems we have to solve. Let's start at the beginning. These are the three big insights that prompted us to take action. 11 million tonnes of plastic enter our oceans every year. 80% of that is non-recyclable plastic. And 2 billion people around the world don't have access to effective waste management systems. You can see how these three things fit together. Without effective waste management, the only waste that gets collected is the stuff that has some value, recyclable waste. Non-recyclable plastic has no value, and the result is that it's left in the environment, or in poorly managed landfills. In coastal areas, this waste is likely to end up in the ocean. But the challenge is actually bigger than this. It's about the way that the whole global economy operates. To create the world we want to see, we need a circular economy. The idea of a more circular economy is simple. We have to move to a world where everything we need can be produced without depleting the Earth's finite resources. If you were to design the system from scratch, it would be really easy. All the new things would be made with a clear plan for how the materials were later be collected, recycled and used for something else. Unfortunately, we live in an existing system, and there are some big problems that are blocking the path to a more circular economy. This is how the world is now. This is how uh, things work. We use energy and raw materials to make stuff, and that stuff gets bought and consumed. If we're lucky, the waste that gets created then goes into a waste management system where it's collected, sorted and responsibly handled. But here's the first problem we talked about before. Waste management systems are not a very profitable business model, particularly in developing countries. Recyclable waste has some value because it can go back into making things, but non-recyclable waste has no value. In fact, it costs money to get rid of it. That's why it often ends up in the cheapest possible landfill, and in coastal regions it risks ending up in the ocean. That's why 80% of the plastic entering the oceans is non-recyclable, because it has no value. If this waste had value, it could be collected and responsibly disposed of. For example, it could be used as an energy source, which reduces the carbon footprint of energy production by 25%. So, this is where we've started at CleanHub. We've enabled activist brands to fund the collection of non-recyclable ocean-bound plastic. These are consumer brands in developed economies that want to take a proactive role in enabling the global circular economy. For every one euro, we fund the collection and responsible disposal of a kilogram of non-recycled plastic in coastal regions. So far, we've funded the recovery of over a million kilograms of plastic. Here's the second problem. Two billion people don't have access to the stuff inside this dotted line. They don't have an effective waste management system. This means that non-valuable waste has a high chance of going straight into the environment. This obviously sucks. So this is where we're focusing next. We're building out-of-the-box technology and processes to build efficient, scalable waste management systems. By providing a standardised, profitable waste management operating system out of the box, we can free up waste management entrepreneurs on the ground to focus on scaling their social impact in their communities. Here's the third problem. Even the recyclable stuff isn't getting recycled. Only 2% of recyclable material goes back into the same application, i.e. bottles going back into bottles. This is because recycled materials are too expensive to compete with the equivalent quality of newly manufactured materials. We want to enable an effective marketplace for recycled materials to bring consistency of quality and supply so that manufacturers would choose recycled plastics by default. Here's the fourth and final problem we want to address. Right now, the best possible outcome for a non-recyclable material is that it goes into energy production. This is actually what happens to waste in most developed economies. But whilst this is better than burning new fossil fuels, um, it reduces the carbon footprint of the energy production by 25%, it's not great. That's why in the long term we're looking to get to zero waste, to find the magic new processes that probably haven't been invented yet, that will enable all materials to go back into making new things, enabling the circular economy.